So today we're going to talk about how does water get into a well for a private well owner. Many of the homes in the Chicagoland area are actually on a private well. And today we're with Mr. Kraft again, explaining to him about his, how does the water get into his home? And we're outside, and as you can see, we have bushes and landscape, and all around it is just nothing but dirt and gravel. And actually behind us, we have a river. So the water hits the Earth's surface, and it penetrates through the ground and collects under the Earth's crust into a gravel bed that's about, so, 200 feet under the Earth's crust. And here we see what's called a well cap. A well cap is the access to that pump that's in the earth that's 200 feet down that pushes the water up through this big chamber and into the home. So what we want to understand is how does the water get into a home? A lot of people who live on private wells don't really quite understand it. And so uh, today's uh, video vignette is just to simply talk about this process. The water as it falls on the Earth's crust and or travels from the river that's behind the home, it, it migrates itself to this granite or this uh, layer of gravel or bedrock below the Earth's surface. And as it's collected there, it's like a huge river, a huge pool of water that slowly migrates. And because that's ever changing, the EPA strongly recommends that well owners test their water on a regular basis. So at Angel Water, our goal is to educate every single well owner as to the specific recommendations from the Department of Public Health and the Environmental Protection Agency. So that water, as it flows under this, this uh, the earth, picks up both natural and man-made contaminants, and it put that pump that's in the earth pushes that water through this large uh, pipe and then underground into the basement of Mr. Kraft's home. Now, the most important thing to look at on this well cap is the EPA suggests that this well cap be 18 inches off the ground and actually doesn't have any uh, growth around it. And so I'm going to recommend to Mr. Kraft to cut back the, uh, the uh, shrubbery around this well cap by about 18 inches and also I'm going to strongly urge them to not fertilize anywhere within 10 feet of this well cap because that's an EPA suggestion. They are looking to make sure that bugs don't crawl off of this, these, this bush and crawl onto the well cap, crawl into the vent that's on the well cap and die and fall into his water that then he one day could consume. In addition to that, we want Mr. Kraft to understand that he, we don't want to fertilize anywhere in here because this is a vented cap, meaning that just that spray, just that overspray can find itself down into his drinking water that he and his family could be consuming. Also, we want Mr. Kraft to, be, to recognize that as in the future, we live in the Chicagoland area, so we have the potential of plowing a driveway. We want to make sure that he knows to always keep an eye on this well cap. The EPA says inspect this well cap at least once a year because if a snow plow accidentally chips this, then that can be an easy access for an animal or bugs to find warmth. And as they do that, they could actually die and fall in or they can actually uh, contaminate his well. Uh, so the essence of this video vignette is to sort of teach well owners a little bit about water, a little bit about how to protect their water source, and how does the water actually get into their own private well. Uh, that said, we'll end this video vignette with a thank you.